Hello everyone, welcome to the week one lecture, Intro to Economics. In this week, we are going to learn definition of economics, followed by basic economic concepts that include scarcity, choice, and opportunity cost. Lastly, production possibilities curve will be introduced that explains the three basic economic concepts. If you have money, what would you like to buy? Car, house, beautiful shirt, have western food in restaurant, travel the whole world? These are ones of human. Not all of these ones can be fulfilled because of limited resources to produce these goods and services. This problem leads to the study of economics for decision of allocating scale resources to satisfy unlimited human wants. What are scale resources? Resources are factors of production that can be transformed into goods and services to meet human wants. There are four factors of production, namely land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Land covers natural resources for producing commodities, for example, forest, minerals, water, birds, and fish. Some of these resources are recyclable, but some are not. Labor refers to physical and mental activities of human resources that receive pay. Examples of labors are doctors and farmers. Capital is referred to items that have been produced in the past and to be used by businesses to produce commodities now. Capital includes tools, machinery, and buildings. Entrepreneurship is human ability to organize land, labor, and capital for initiating production. Entrepreneurs make business decisions about what and how to produce commodities. However, they have to bear the risk of not meeting needs and wants of customers. Examples of successful entrepreneurs are founders of Microsoft and Facebook. There are Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg. Each factor of production receives reward. Rent is paid for the use of land. Wages are paid for the services of labor. Interest is paid for the use of capital. Profit or loss is received by entrepreneurs for running businesses. There are three basic economic concepts that we need to know in this chapter. These are Scarcity, choices, and opportunity cost. Scarcity happens when limited resources are unable to satisfy unlimited ones of human beings. Choices are possible production alternatives that can be used for addressing scarce resources problem. Choices involve decision to solve basic economic problems, which include what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce. Opportunity cost is the value of the best alternative that is foregone for a choice which gives more satisfaction. For example, if Dina is given two choices for her birthday present this year, either an iPod or a TV. If she chooses the iPod, the opportunity cost is the TV. This example is to test your understanding on opportunity cost. This question assumes that candy bar is the best choice of Alex. However, this question does not specify second, third, and fourth best choices of Alex. Therefore, the possible opportunity cost of buying a candy bar is either two bananas, or four apples, or one banana and two apples. In example 3, best choice, second choice, and third choice of Susanna are known. The best choice of Susanna is to take an economics online quiz. Second choice is to complete mathematics homework. Third choice is to practice her violin. Therefore, opportunity cost of taking the online quiz is doing her mathematics homework only. 
Production possibilities curve or frontier can be used to explain scarcity, choices, and opportunity cost. PPC shows possible combinations of two commodities produced by a country if resources are fully employed. In Figure 1.1, there are six possible combinations of producing bottled water and CDs at full employment. These six possible combinations are indicated as points A, B, C, D, E, and F. The line that joins points A to F is the PPC. PPC in Figure 1.2 divides attainable and unattainable areas for bottled water and cities production. The beach area is attainable. The wet area is unattainable due to limited resources of a country. Points A to F are on PPC. These are the possible combinations of bottled water and cities produced when resources are fully and efficiently employed. To maximize satisfaction, a country has to choose any point along the PPC. Point G is outside PPC, which is unattainable due to resources scarcity. Point H is inside PPC. It indicates resources are used inefficiently or unemployed. Movement on PPC involves opportunity cost. For example, moving from point D to point E increases 1 million of bottled water, but reducing CD quantities from 9 million to 5 million. That means for having additional 1 million of bottled water, the opportunity cost is 4 million of CDs. However, there is no opportunity cost occurs when movement from a point inside PPC to a point on PPC. For instance, Moving from point H to point E increases 1 million of bottled water without foregoing CD production. Can PPC of a country shift upward or rightward in future? That is shifting the XY1 of PPC to XY2. Answer is yes. It can if factors of production increase in future. This includes development of new technologies for producing commodities more efficiently. Second factor is improving quality of human resources through education and on-the-job training. On the other hand, is that possible for a PPC shift inward or leftward? Yes, this may happen when a country has reduction in factors of production. Reduction of productive resources can be due to natural disaster such as earthquake and tsunami. Another factor is population reduction in a country due to workers migrate to other countries. In summary, scarcity occurs when limited resources are unable to satisfy unlimited human wants. Limited resources recall people to make choices in answering what, how and for whom to produce. When people are making a choice, opportunity cost occurs. The three basic economic concepts can be explained by the production possibilities curve.